Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. The world of work is changing thanks to AI tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, Gemini, and the rest. In this short video, I want to show you an example of how AI tools can fast track the work that we do at the office. We want to do a simple reconciliation with Copilot for Finance. This is a custom AI tool from Microsoft that allows us to fast track the routine finance task at the office. So if you are game, let's go through this in five minutes. Okay, so we'll begin with two data sets. One is internal ledger records, and then I have another one in the second sheet that is bank statement. My goal is to reconcile these two data sets to see which records match, which ones do not, right? So the tool we are going to use for this is Copilot for Finance, which is currently under preview. If you want to have access to this, it's available under add-ins. So you just have to click on add-ins and then look for Copilot for Finance, right? So it pops up here, you click on add, it installs, and then you are ready to use it. For best results, you can convert your data into tables, make things easier. So I will stand in here, go to insert, and then insert a table on my first table. So I'll click OK. I could also do this with Control T to make it easier. I'm going to name this table internal. Okay, so this is for the first table. And then I have the second table. I'll do the same process, Control T for this. Okay, and then I'll name this bank. So after naming and creating the tables, I'll proceed with the reconciliation. So I'll come to home and then launch Copilot for Finance. Okay. So you can see that reconciliation of data is one of the tasks here. There's also various analysis, which I'm sure will be added in the future. So for now, we proceed with the reconciliation. What it does is that it profiles the workbook. So in worksheet one, this is the internal ledger worksheet. And then in worksheet two, I have the bank statement. In there, I also have the tables, internal and bank. So if you're okay with this, you click on next to go to the next step. So it will go ahead and then profile the columns that you have in the tables. Usually if the columns are the same in both tables with the same content, it will bring everything up. But maybe you don't need all the columns in your final report. You have the option to take out some of the columns. You can also have a situation where the content in the column are the same, but the name of the column or the header name are different. In that case, you can also set that as well. So this is the initial suggestion from Copilot. It is bringing all the four columns in both tables. You can click on adjust to make changes. So I can click on adjust where I can now go in and then match let's say A to A, if let's say transaction ID has a different name apart from transaction ID, but the content are the same, I can choose the column from here. If I don't want to see description in my final report, I get the option to also delete it from here. In this case, it will proceed with just the three columns, right? So in situations where the column names are not the same, you just have to click on adjust and then match the columns that are relevant. You also have to look out for the data type, right? So you realize that there are labels for the amount columns and then labels for the text columns, right? So these are there to guide you. Once you're okay with this, then you can proceed and then choose next. So it just profiles what you have given and then in just a second, you have your detailed reconciliation report. Super exciting. There are three categories to this. So first, it gives you the unmatched records. So the first table is on the left and the second table is on the right. Then it calculates the difference between the two in each category. So for the first set, we have unmatched records. It identified four unmatched records. So you have it here. Then when you go on to the second category, you have potentially matched records. These are the records that were not exactly matched. There are situations where you have one too many, many too many. These are records that are not exactly matched. So for our purpose, we had blanks. What we are here for is the third category, which is the matched transactions. In this group, I can expand it. So here you have a detailed presentation of the records that were matched. So six of them, 
with all the columns that I specified, 3050 for internal and then 3050 for bank. In the difference, you realize that they are zero just to validate the point that they are exactly matched. To the right, you also see that it gives you a narrative, a detailed reconciliation report based on the work that it has done. So you can scan through this. Okay, if you're okay, it gives you the option to save a PDF report out of this. So once I click on the PDF report, you see the PDF report pop up here. I can open the file and then I have this detailed report for my reporting or any further use. Pretty exciting, right? So this is in preview. I'm sure in the future it's going to add on more finance tasks that can be fast tracked. So go ahead and explore and then give it a shot. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.